What's going on guys? It's your boy Elio back here with another character review video. Uh, in today's video we have Uriu, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this party started. Alright, so right before we begin, uh, Uriu is a Azure Dragon, so do keep that in mind. And we can see that his specialty is being an attacker type, and his rogue crit buff is his main selling point. So let's go over here and dive straight into his skills. Alright, so for his combo skill, uh, Reishi Arrow, it deals damage to a single enemy, and the crit chance of this attack is increased by 20%. Uh, the skill damage is subpar, it's 10% lower than what I consider the base skill damage, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, the crit chance, 20% is a hefty amount, so uh, it seems like crit might be the way to go for this guy, depending on his other skills. But all in all, it's just an okay skill, nothing, nothing great at all. But for his rage skill, Light uh, Regen deals damage to a column of enemies, so that only hits two units maximum. Grants 10% crit chance bonus to all allies in the same column. When weapon is awakened, damage and crit chance increases greatly. And then once again, skill damage is slightly subpar, which, I mean, it is what it is. He's a unit that we get very, very early on in the game. He can't be powerful like this when... He'll get future reiterations that make him a lot better. But, I mean, yeah, it's just not that great. I mean, the crit chance bonus is 10% isn't bad at all. But, yeah, it's it's just another rage skill, unfortunately. For his uh, third skill slot, though, we have just attack increase. And then for his fourth star, which is his passive, the uh, Sartorial Quincy. When he is alive, he increases the attack of ally females in his own crit chance by 15%. That's probably the best move or the best passive that he has. Not saying that I would use him on a team. I mean, I possibly would, at least for like the extreme challenge, just because number one, Uriu is just cheap and easy to raise. So, you know, getting him to six or seven stars or whatever isn't a big deal at all. It's very, very easy. Not to mention his War Souls. Very, very useful, and once again, easy to build because he's so common. But overall, his passive isn't isn't that bad. But let's go over here to his War Souls next. Alright, so wrap, wrapping up his War Souls here, let's check out his Heroic War Soul. For his Heroic War Soul, it increases attack by 4% for all female characters in the battle arena, and obviously doubles his HP. This would work if you are running females in the battle arena, which I'm not saying people aren't because they are, but this would work in that case, and 4% is a big chunk, so he's someone that I would level up, at least in the future, with the Heroic War Soul, but I wouldn't really make this like my priority number one. Just get to him when when you can, and um, I mean, unfortunately, you will come across Heroic War Souls that aren't that great, but in theory, I, I'm at least trying to go for all of them. Am I ever going to max out all of them? Probably not, but I'll try and get as close as I can. Let's go over here to his talent though. So his talent, uh, Arena Daily Challenge Reward yields 4% more honor. I mean, 4% does count over time, especially as you continue to play the game and we do Arena every day. So that 4% does add up. So if you have the spare shards, feel free to throw it in there and get that 4% action and hopefully raise it up. The more his Proud Quincy trait or talent goes up and get more honor, which is important it's very very important but that's pretty much Uriu I would say uh, if you were to use him obviously just keep him for the extreme challenge his skills aren't anything amazing I actually prefer his passive or I see his passive to be more useful than his skill set in himself but his main selling point is just to be an easy easily farmable and easily obtainable unit and also let's not for let's not mention let's not forget to mention his wonderful wonderful war soul which should probably pri be priority number one for all players out there raise his war soul up as much as you can first and then come back and finish investing in Uriu and you will have no regrets at all but that's the end of this video you guys I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want another character review done 
for the next video, I implore you to leave a comment below. But if not, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.